Joanna Simpson here at Risk Minds International in London. Joining me now is Ratul Ahmed, Group Head of Model Validation at Commerce Bank. Thank you very much for joining me today. Thanks for having me, Joanna. It's nice to be here. My pleasure. And as a Global Head of Model Risk Management and Validation, what are the biggest risks you see when adopting AI technology? I think now it's model risk, most definitely model risk, um, data quality, uh, making sure that we have the right set of data and training data sets. Uh, it's also consideration for fairness in the data sets as well, because potentially you have a lot of bias uh, in the data sets that you have that you have to consider going forward. Um, lots of regulatory compliance, additional compliance. We have uh, new regulations coming in with the EU AI Act and the existing machine learning guidelines that we have in place as well. Um, frequency of validation is really quite a new thing as well, because uh, in the past, when you looked at models, generally as a, as a model validator, you look at them, leave them, and then come back to them in an annual cycle. Now, with the movement that we have in AI and how quickly you can bring things to market and how quickly things change, we have to really think about the frequency of the validation that we perform as well. Um, and I think tied to that really is change management as well. Um, how we think about the frequency, the testing that we do uh, for AI, use of AI and AI models as well is quite an important thing to consider as well going forward. So quite a few new things that we need to think about in the space of AI. And what are useful methodologies for assessing AI models and mitigating the associated risks? I think what we need to do as organisations that are either developing or using or providing AI going forward is to really think about AI literacy and how we educate people in, uh, in people within the organization of actually in what we're using the AI use cases for, how we're developing them, and, and not to treat it in isolation. So really think about bringing people together to the table who, as well as like developers, so model developers, as well as those people that are actually want the use cases or have a use for it through an organization, and um, to come together to sit down and figure out, okay, how do we push this through? How do we get this through? Is it the right use case? Is it the right for the right reasons? Is it for financial efficiency? Is it for um, helping to alleviate staff pressure? So to get staff to be able to look at other things as well. And the best way to do that is to get people in a room to come forward with their ideas and then you work it through in that environment. And the only way to really do that is to create room for AI literacy and um, to make sure that people understand how they can use AI going forward. And over the course of your career in risk management, how have you seen technology transform the practice? So many different ways. <laughs> I think nowadays we have, with the large data analytics areas, we've seen uh, data sets that uh, you can crunch data very quickly. Um, you can also, uh, there's a high process, uh, how, how do I say that? There's a high uh, increase of automation, I think, of processes as well. Um, and you, the, an example is like you just look at algorithmic trading, how that's taken off for FX trading as an example, right? Um, and I think the biggest thing that's really hit us also is use of cloud technology and uh, how we can now move things and process things. And you can bring processes in risk management a little bit closer together. So how you process your data, uh, so data collection, data processing, and also you can run things together. You can also do your compliance checks, for example, on the same data set that you have. And, and we can do it in it's real time these days, right? And uh, I think that when I started in, in risk management in 2000, the early 2000s, so 2001, I give all too much of my age away. <laughs> um, I think that that was a time that you really noticed that everything was large data sets. You were reporting on data from like, you know, three weeks, four weeks ago on a monthly cycle. And nowadays, and you have, you have very much siloed areas of compliance or uh, market risk management and credit risk management were very different spaces and now you can all use the same data set pretty much in real time and you can combine um, the way you can have a much better holistic view of risk because you can combine the use of the data but also how you report it. So with the rise of AI and machine learning how is the skill set needed for risk professionals changing? I think it's uh, it's I think the way I, the way I describe it is, and I'm I'm a market risk manager originally at heart, and I'm now in model risk management, obviously looking at AI. And uh, the way I really look at it is as a as a market risk manager, you tend to look at end-to-end -end processes a lot more than somebody that validates a model at the end of the day. And I think what we need to do is I talked about it a little bit earlier, but we need to increase the the awareness of use of AI. So that's the AI literacy that comes into being. And um, we really have to raise that awareness through an organization. Um, 
and we really need to raise it in such a way that you can tell staff that you can augment, augment their tasks. Really, AI can help you look at something that's more challenging, more different, and help you tie the dots together. You can become more strategic if you leave some of the operational tasks, um, potentially could be automated, so you can look at other things. And I think coming back to my story of what I'm looking for now in a model validation space, really, or the model validation future, really like, I like to call the market risk managers on steroids, um, because they tend to, market risk managers tend to see the end-to-end -end, uh, process. So I think now, people within an organization, if they want to use AI, have to understand the use case, have to test it, have to test where that use can be used. And in a very much, a, how do I say this? In a, in a very um, easy way of understanding, not a technical way of like, you know, validating a mathematical model. It's very much a, you have to ask it questions. You have to test the, the fairness within the model. You have to do a variety of different things to see, is this the right thing for the organization? And I think the other thing is we have to be more aware of, uh, of we have to be more aware of taking more risk um, that we cannot account for. Because in the financial risk terms, well, when we look at financial risk, we have very strict metrics. You have very strict governance around it um, about like, you know, it can, what impact it can have to your capital if the model goes wrong, for example. And with AI and use of well, again, use of AI going forward, I think you might have an issue with risk assessments. Like how do you, you know, there's 90% of something you might be looking at for an AI use case, you might not be able to assess the risk on. So you have to turn around and say, okay, we accept that there might be some issues here, but we still think that there are efficiencies to be gained. And you have to change the mindset within the organization to shift to that way of thinking. Ratul Ahmed, thank you very much for your time. No problem, thank you, it's nice to be here.